Cookwadrex Shutter Shock Gina Rodriguez is developing a pair projects at CBS and the CW that are centered around the Latino community, Variety has learned. Both projects hail from Rodriguez I Can I Will Productions, which is set up under an overall deal with CBS Television Studios. The CBS project is a drama titled Have Mercy, based on the German format Dr. Illegal. It centers around a Latina doctor who is unable to practice when she immigrates to Miami. She begins work as a nurse's assistant, but risks everything when she opens a makeshift clinic in her apartment to serve the community. Queen of the South co-executive producer Dalen Rodriguez will executive produce with Intrigue Entertainment's Tarek Jalil and Lucas Carter also executive producing. Rodriguez optioned the format when she signed the overall deal with CBS TV Studios. The CW project is a one-hour dramedy called Illegal. Based on the life of series co-executive producer and writer Rafael Agostin, the series follows a 16-year-old American high school student named Rafael who discovers he is in fact undocumented. Rodriguez will executive produce along with I Can I Will's Emily Gibson. Agostin, who currently writes for Rodriguez Jane the Virgin, was a Sundance Episodic Story Lab fellow, and co-created and co-wrote the autobiographical play Jer Weddy BCXEHNK. I Can I Will Productions is also developing a series adaptation of L.A. Story at CBS TV Studios in conjunction with Alison Rosenzweig and Michael Gita of Gita Rosenzweig Films, and a drama based on the novel Flood Girls which they are executive producing alongside Drew Barrymore's Flower Films and writer Corinne Brinkerhoff. I Can I Will Productions is repped by APA, Primary Wave Entertainment, and attorney Carl Austin. Ig Austin is repped by APA and attorney Jody Simon. On Tuesday, CBS also announced they were developing a comedy series called Welcome to Maine, a multicam about a ninth-generation Maine family and a recent immigrant and his daughter who must all learn to embrace change when they share the same workplace in a tiny rural town. That announcement came on the heels of the Trump administration formally announcing that they will end the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA program, which protects approximately 800,000 undocumented immigrants brought to the United States as children from deportation.